Meta just revealed a new AI model called Anymail. It went through tough tests and beat many top models. This new AI can understand and create different types of content, such as text, speech, images, and videos. In this video, we'll explain how Animal works, how well it performs in different tasks, and the test it went through. We'll also talk about the challenges, limitations, and ethical concerns related to its use. One significant problem faced in the field of artificial intelligence is getting machines to understand and create a human language in combination with various sensory information like images, videos, sound, and motion signals. This problem has affected many things, like how we interact with computers, create content, and make things more accessible. Regular language models usually only work with text, which limits their ability to understand and respond to the different ways people interact with the world, like the use of images and audio. Meta saw and identified this problem and came up with a solution they named Animal, a groundbreaking model that can handle both language and other sensory information. Animal is all about AI being able to understand and talk in a way that's connected to different senses, like pictures, sounds, and more. This makes Animal skilled at understanding and generating different types of information. It does this by converting these various inputs into text, which it can then analyze. The key idea behind Animal is that text is like a universal language, and big language models can learn effectively from vast amounts of data. So Animal is basically a super smart computer program that has been taught a lot using a mix of pictures, sounds, words, and movements. It learned from studying 200 million pictures, 2.2 million audio clips, 500,000 moving data, and 28 million videos. It's basically learning through its exposure to tons of experiences. The cool thing is that it blends what it knows about words with what it knows about pictures and sounds in a language model called a Large Multimodal Language Model, or LLM. And guess what? It's made to work really well on powerful computer chips without using too much power. To make the model work better on strong computer chips, Meta used quantitative methods to make it run efficiently, so it's both smart and efficient. But it gets even better through something called Multimodal Instruction Tuning, or MMIT. Basically, it goes through a special training process using images, videos, and audio, so it can do lots of different tasks, not just answering questions. The training uses both real and made-up data to make sure it's super good at understanding what's going on, the important thing was to make sure that the AI really understood the whole picture. They did some tests to check how good it was, and guess what? It did amazingly well, breaking its own previous records and getting even better at lots of different tasks that involve different types of information. Animal has three main parts that make it work so well. First, there's the pre-trained aligner module, which is the part that understands different kinds of information and turns them into words. For example, turning a picture into a description or transcribing spoken words into written words. This model learns through the analysis of a large number of multimodal datasets via self-supervised learning methods. Then, there's a multimodal instruction set, a set of instructions that tell any mal what to do. These tasks range from activities such as making it do things like turning text into speech or describing a picture. Moreover, this instruction set can be set to address other wide array of tasks, including image captioning and text-to-speech synthesis and others. Lastly, there's the LLM backbone otherwise referred to as the large language model. This serves as the central processing unit of the whole thing, which takes all the information, follows the instructions, and gives the answers. It's like the smart core of the program. Comparing Animal with its other counterparts, Animal's unique design and capabilities shine through and make it stand out. To illustrate this, let's take ChatGPT for example which is another multimodal model. While ChatGPT is proficient in providing text and image responses within conversations, unfortunately, it has a limitation, and this is the fact that ChatGPT uses a separate encoder-decoder setup for each response type. This makes it less efficient when it handles different response types at the same time. There is also another AnyMal counterpart aside from ChatGPT called Lava. This is another significant player in the field of multimodal models. It also has the ability to deliver text and image responses across a range of tasks. However, it's limited by a predefined set of instructions, which hinders its ability to be customized by users or to adapt to new challenges. Another multimodal AI model like Animal is GPT-4. 
It can also generate text from a variety of inputs, including those of a multimodal nature. Nevertheless, GPT-4 lacks a distinct aligner module and a clearly outlined instruction set, which can pose a challenge in terms of making it somewhat challenging to understand and control, particularly when compared to the capabilities of AnyMal. This new model underwent thorough testing across a wide range of tasks, including tasks like describing images, converting text to speech, summarizing videos, and answering questions in conversations. These evaluations included both assessments by humans and automated methods. In image captioning, AnyMal performed exceptionally well. It demonstrated its ability to turn visual content into detailed text descriptions. In text-to-speech creation, it efficiently converted written words into expressive speech. When summarizing videos, AnyMal proved adept at creating concise text summaries from video content. In question-answering conversations, AnyMal impressively generated text-based responses by understanding both written and visual inputs. Throughout these evaluations, AnyMal consistently outperformed other models. For instance, in image captioning, it outperformed its competitors on various measures, including Blue 4, Meteor, Rouge, and Cider. This pattern also held true in text-to-speech synthesis, where AnyMal achieved higher scores on metrics such as MOS and Estoy. Positive feedback was also received from human evaluators who assessed various aspects of its performance, including coherence, diversity, informativeness, relevance, and naturalness. These evaluators used a rating scale from 1 to 5, where 5 indicated excellence and 1 denoted subpar quality. On average, AnyMal received favorable ratings, 4.3 for coherence, 4.1 for diversity, 4.2 for informativeness, 4.4 for relevance, and 4.3 for naturalness. In a comparative context with other AI models like ChatGPT, Llama2, and GPT-4, AnyMal achieved superior scores. For example, ChatGPT obtained slightly lower ratings of 3.9, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, and 3.8 across the same categories, while Llama2 and GPT-4 produced their own sets of scores. Another example is about a quest to test the most accurate multimodal AI model between Blip2, InstructBlip, MiniGPT4, OpenFlamingo, Alava, and AnyMal using a creative writing case, a prompt of come up with a funny joke about this. Under a picture of a man holding a Nutcracker doll was inputted. Any male output turned out to be the most humorous response compared to the other multimodal language models. It came out with an output of, why did the Nutcracker go to the doctor? Because he was feeling a little cracked. Blip2 gave a text output of a person holding a Lego toy in their hand and instruct Blip gave a text output of a hand holding a small toy in a room, which evidently has no element of humor in it. Mini GPT-4 had a text output of why did the Lego man break up with his Lego wife? Because he found a better Lego man. And Open Flamingo had a text output, what do you do when you cross a snowman with a robot? Answer, a snowbot. Well, these two outputs are obviously unrelated and also not humorous. Another great example is in a question about which wine goes well with steak. Any male accurately picks the right wine based on the picture of two wine bottles. Once again, Blip2 and InstructBlip gave a totally unrelated answer. And while Mini GPT-4 and Alava tried offering a related long answer, they still ended up not being able to create an accurate answer like AnyMal did. This proves it's good at giving practical advice linked to what it sees. Despite these accomplishments, there remains room for improvement in AnyMal's performance, particularly in relation to the quality of its training data. While challenges are on the horizon, the promising outcomes provide a robust foundation for further research and refinement. AnyMal, a versatile model, finds applications in various sectors such as education, entertainment, healthcare, e-commerce, and social media. Its advantages encompass boosting creativity, productivity, and engagement. However, there exist certain risks linked to its utilization. AnyMal has the potential to generate misinformation, posing a threat to reputations and promoting false narratives. Moreover, it can copy content without proper attribution, potentially infringing on intellectual property rights. Hence, it is imperative to use AnyMal responsibly and ethically. The establishment and adherence to standards and regulations for multimodal models like AnyMal are essential to ensure its potential is leveraged for the greater good. Enjoyed the video? 
Why not try making your own and start earning some extra passive income? Some of you may be aware that my channel is associated with Matt Parr. He provides a variety of secret growth tactics for making money online in 2024 using YouTube cash cow channels. If you're interested, you can find his 100% free course under the description. It shows you how to make up to $30,000 each month online, just like he does. Anyway, check out this video on your screen that I've selected just for you. Thanks for watching.